Welcome to, to SGS, SGS News. Watch out! Spring break was awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. I agree. But man, it's going to be testing you. I see. It's going to be a busy one. Have you guys heard that Oso Brownie got married? Who's Oso Brownie? This is Oso Brownie. And here's his floor. I, I mean wife. Let's go check more about it. So I recently heard that Oso Brownie was married. So who was he married to? Floor. Floor and who was Floor? A flower. Wow, interesting. Um, where did the wedding take place? The Spanish room. The Spanish room. Okay. And uh, what were your opinions on it? Was it cute? Was it funny? How was it? It was like real because Phil was marrying a bill. That is that is pretty weird. I won't lie. That is pretty weird. But uh, how how was it overall? Did you like it? Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, congratulations, Floor and Oso Brownie. I see that we're entering Lent. This is a very important part of any Catholic's life. Let's go see what our superior, Mr. Khan, has to say about Lent. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Khan to talk about Lent and how the season is just now starting. So, we've been talking about different practices in, during Lent, and mm -hmm. I was hoping you could talk about some. Sure. Uh, so, Lent begins today on Ash Wednesday, right? And it's a time traditionally of, of fasting and penance when we uh, sort of prepare for Easter and we also make up for all the things that we've done uh, you know, wrong throughout our lives. Uh, one of the ways to do that traditionally is to go to confession during the, uh, the time of Lent. So it's a good, uh, good time to go if you haven't been in a while. Um, fasting and abstinence are characteristic of Lent, right? So fasting is obligatory for anybody over the age of 18, or 18 or over, I should say, on uh, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. And then abstinence is required for 14 and up on all Fridays of Lent um, and on Ash Wednesday, and is kind of encouraged throughout the season. Um, it's also good to practice self-denial in various ways, like giving up candy, something like that. Um, and it's also good to add acts of prayer and acts of uh, sort of generosity to those around you as well. All right. There you go. Thank you for talking about Lent. No problem. Hey, I just got into NJHS. That's cool. It is, though. What is it? It stands for National Junior Honor Society. Let's go check it out. Hello, everyone. So, today we are here with Emmy to learn more about NJHS. So. What is it? It's an organization that's open to kids 6 to 8. That's cool. So, how do you get in? So, first off, you have to have no demands and also a 90% average in all your grades. Uh, okay. Well, thank you so much for, you know, talking mm -hmm. to us about it. Bye. Thanks for watching SJS News.